Right, here's an Anthophora Thakata that I caught the other day. Um, it's looking a bit um, flat and light. Its fur is all a bit, uh, I don't know if you can focus on that, get some light, but it's looking a bit worse of where the, the fur is all flattened down on it uh, and not looking at all fluffy. In fact, it looks the opposite from fluffy. What we're doing now is going to give it a clean. Uh, so then it looks really pristine and ready to pin. So what we do first is a glass test tube, get the water as hot as you can. One little drop, just one little drop of washing up liquid. Oh, there you go. Get the water hot again. There we go, water hot. Oh, about that much in it. Almost full, three quarters full. Put the bee inside, put the lid on, oops, and give it a shake for about 30 seconds. It'll be quite vigorous, ain't gonna hurt it. The bee's cushioned away in all them lovely foamy bubbles. But if you give them that vigorous shake, it really gets the detergent into all the fur, the scoper. Good works good on bees that also. Um, got lots of pollen on them. Sometimes they regurgitate on their cells when you've got them in the FOS tape. And also one that I dug out of the pond the other day. Um, looks like pristine. So yeah, there you go, about 30 seconds. Probably open. Get a small dish ready and some forceps. There we go, there's our bee. Now we use some of this alcohol, rubbing alcohol, a little vial of that. I'll pop the lid off. Get the bee out, drop it into the alcohol, it sinks right down to the bottom. And again, give it a good shake for about 30 seconds. It's good to have the um, forceps ready. This alcohol gets all the detergent off and what have you. There we go, it's looking pretty good. I'll leave that there for a second because what you're going to get now is a sweep net, net bag. Um, unfortunately this one's black so you just need to drop that into there. So obviously I'm taking this out. Oh, I'm going to get hold of it. This is why the forceps are coming out here. Oh, come out. There we go. There he goes. So yeah, drop them into the bag. Um, he is in the bottom there. Yeah, I can see him, yeah, I can see it in the bottom there. Next, you want your rice air dryer. Cold heat would do. Just put it over there. It's gonna get a bit noisy now. And then, as you do this, bounce it around, okay? So just bounce it around in there, so. So the air is going all the way around it. You can also do it this way by holding it down here. Turn it around. Okay, that should do it. Let's see what we have. Let's see if I can fit it to fall out. Uh, there it goes. And there you go. I think you can must agree that's a better looking, fresh looking bee. Much more flurrier, fluffier, and completely unharmed by the whole process.